Uh, excuse me, can I help you? It's all right. Me? We're friends of friends. You have some serious subluxations here. I don't think you're here for an adjustment. Although you could use one. Oh, no, no. Well, I relaxed. Actually, Dr. Doinell, we're here just to talk. Doinell. And I don't generally speak with you gentlemen unless my attorney is present. Well, it'll only take a moment. I have him on my speed dial. Right. Tell him to meet us at the precinct. We've got a nice room set up for conferences. 43 arrests for bookmaking and no convictions. And still, I have a positive attitude. <laughs> is this something we can uh, straighten out in my office? We want to talk about Benny Williams. I can't possibly remember every patient. Pat Williams' father. Yes. I'm aware of that tragedy. We heard you took a particular interest in Benny. I would have to know a man before I had any interest in him. And we haven't established that I know him. Well, I'm just wondering, if we took a look around here, uh, maybe we might find something with his name on it? <laughs> now I'm back to my speed dial. And these are your fans? Well, you know, it comes with the territory. Let's go in here and talk. You guys find something? Your father ever mentioned uh, Dr. Duanel? No, the chiropractor, no, he didn't believe in that. Well, we're not asking if he got his bones bent, Pat. We just want to know if he might have been involved in gambling. My father's not even in the ground yet. I mean, I could really take offense to this. Yeah. And the guy who killed your father is out there someplace walking his dog. That doesn't offend you? My father had a problem, OK, when he came to work for me. He had a gambling problem. He bet sports. I told him that it could cost me my career. And did he respect your opinion? My father-in-law knew what could happen, so he stopped. You sure about that? Yes. He got help from a support group. And I took him to his first meeting. A room full of gamblers? They must have loved meeting you. My father had a problem, and he took care of it. We've got to go now, OK? This is the news. Benny gambled. Seems like he may have fallen down the 12 steps. And we hear the biggest bookie in Harlem took an interest in Benny's health. If you believe the bouncer, who's the only one we know with a motive. Yeah, but his alibi checks. OK. Why does a bookie protect somebody? Generosity of spirit. Somebody works for him. Or somebody owes him some money. A lot of money. Yeah, well, I doubt that Papa Doc's going to let us peruse his employment records and accounts receivable. You know, I used to work a snitch on 110th. You have a gambling habit? You carry bags for a couple of bookies. You still got an address on him? About you what you need out of petty cash. <laughs> I don't mind coming downtown by a train, as long as I know I'm going uptown by taxi. Now, I usually lunch at this hour. What say we step over to the Cafe des Artistes? Well, we're not going to quite book your limo yet until we find out what you got. Now, I'm very disappointed Miss Van Buren didn't come. But I guess she got you white boys working for now. Yeah, and the mayor's son shines her shoes. What do you know about Benny Williams? That man was a negative barometer. He bet red, you better bet black. Well, being as he's dead, we figure his luck's not running too good. Well, he was wired to pro baseball, and he blows out on college baskets. Well, so who did he make his bad bets with? Papa Doc. 43 arrests, no convictions. Well, he's a big supporter of the Harlem police charities. How much did Benny owe Papa Doc? Well, I hear 800. Thousand? I still haven't had my lunch. Yeah, here's 50 bucks out of a cupboard, Des Artistes. Bon appetit. Yeah, merci beaucoup. Papa Doc wouldn't have let Benny run up an 800 G tab unless he figured he was going to get paid. So who's got the deep pockets in the Williams family? Pat. Spring of 86, a team of high school all-stars traveled through Florida on an exhibition tour. Pat had won it back. I'll never forget it. 
Sid Fernandez, from everything he had, Pat kept on fouling him off, must have been 15 pitches. He saw one he liked, boom, I rope down the line for three. He was 17 years old. Yeah, and graduation day, you were knocking on his door. Me and every agent from here to L.A. I know the press makes us have to be scum-sucking vultures, but I got that kid a hell of a deal. Last year's All-Star game, eight of the starters were mine. This year's roster's missing one. I signed the deal, I still get the commission. Look, I've seen this movie a million times. I take in some kid with 12 cents in his pocket, help him sign a good contract, connect him with the right people. These kids run, they catch, they hit, they don't handle money. I invest their cash, I put them on an allowance. A grown man with a family on an allowance? Yes, but he put his old man on one, too. Only trouble was, Benny ran through his three grand by noon Monday and hit up Pat for most of his. He was gambling. Did Pat know? He had to be curious why his father was going through an extra ten grand a week. Sorry, guys, wheels up. I got an appointment. Hey, the kid had to know. Some people have an amazing ability to stay ignorant. Hey, he came from nothing to a perfect life. The old man tracks him down after he's headed to the bigs and then starts bleeding him. So what, he used his old man's head for batting practice? Maybe. You told us your father quit gambling. Look, I'm not my father's keeper. We're trying to find the guy who killed your father, and your lying doesn't help. I'm just trying to protect what I have here, okay? Now, you both know that if it gets into the paper that my father was gambling... Maybe we'll arrest his murderer. And maybe I'll just get a job as, as what? A, a member of the grounds crew? Maybe you just wanted to make sure no one ever knew. Okay, all right. Look. I'm gonna need you guys' help anyway. He's, um, threatened my family. Who has? Papa Doc. Your father owed him? He still wanted his money? No. No, it was me. I, I owe him. I was just placing bets to my father. So killing him was a collection notice. <laughs>